So looking at um, some of the drawing standards, um, there are two major ones. Um, of course, there's many of them, but in the, in the electrical uh, case, uh, we're looking at two major ones, I, NFPA and IEC. There is, as you can see, visual uh, differences uh, at, at, a, at first glance. So we're, NFPA is using rows, IEC is using um, um, columns and such. The way that they draft is, you know, left to right. Consumers are pretty much on the right-hand side, as opposed to the um, IEC ways, the consumers are pretty much at the bottom. So... Um, in these different standards that you that you see, um, there are things to take into consideration. Of course, there is um, one case um, where, when you're working with uh, motors, in this case here, you'll notice that um, there is a um, probably something that a lot of people don't don't really realize or check. But um, if I dimension the connection points from one point. To another point, there is a 0.5 mil, um, inch um, scale format between those two connection points, and this is pretty much determined by the by the standards um, to some extent. Obviously, this information, um, the way the symbol library is done, basically is, is, is to enable the user to to um, you know map things out and, and and things lay where they they're supposed to. If I look at the same scenario. Um, Inside the IEC environment, um, if I look here and I grab a motor, um, so grab an IEC motor here, and if I place it down <clears throat> and I do the same uh, dimensioning check, you'll notice that uh, between two connection points, there is a eight millimeters apart. So this really plays um, when we're doing our schematic and also when we're doing auto generation using the PLC tools. So we need to make sure that we take this into consideration when we're doing uh, our macros and when we're using different um, drafting styles. So what are you doing in FPA? What are you doing in IEC? This is something um, to take into consideration. So IEC versus the NFPA.